Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to a new series where we are playing through Elden Ring. Dude, I cannot tell you how excited I have been for this game. I'm a huge fan of FromSoft. I've played Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro. I've played so many of their games and I've been very excited for, for this one for a very long time. Just very excited to see where things go, how they take it. Definitely looking forward to this. Let's just go ahead and jump straight in. Now, there's a lot that I've tried to keep from this game, but I have, uh, I will say I have looked into the classes just to kind of see what all I wanted to play whenever I first started this, and I knew that I wanted to play the Prisoner, because the Prisoner is very much a good one for a, a arcane, uh, what is this? Increase maximum HP. Reinforce sacred flask. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if there's anything I've ever learned from this game, ever, from this game series, if you can, you always start with the key. Because you can unlock something pretty cool. Um, this is just our base. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Definitely, so, so a lot of what I want this game to be, oh good lord, okay, a lot of what I want this, this episode to be for this, for this series is, uh, this is going to be very much an introduction, this is just going to be character creation, um, this is just going to be character creation, uh, kind of getting an introduction, seeing where the game starts, uh, things of that nature. Just kind of seeing what all we can do. I really like what they did with this hair. His eyeliner makes this look so, so strange. Ah, yes. Me. Now you see why I'm bald. <laughs> uh, but, oh gosh, I've been so excited. I've, I've been looking forward to this for this game for a very long time. So I will say I have very much a, um, I've been very excited for this game, very much looking forward to it. So I've been looking forward to this all week. Uh, let's see if we can't get him like a thinner beard. Also get rid of the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. Although I will say, just because his eyes look so sunken with that. Uh, although I will 100% say that there's not a lot that this is really going to account for. Because when it comes to these games, you don't really get to see your character's face that much. Um, not yet. Yeah, you don't really just get to see his face that much. Let's see. Where is facial hair? There we go. That's what I'm wanting. Yes. That's a man's mustache. But there's not really much that you're going to do really just to see his face in general. So we're just going to go ahead and stick with that. Pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to start this. Um... I really wanted to do a very, very mix between Dex sword base and magic base because uh, I've seen a lot of the magic in this game. I'm very excited to see where that comes in. Um, these games typically start with the cutscenes. Let's go ahead and see what all we got. The fallen leaves tell a story. the 
eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus' offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon of Mere, the all knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. All right, let's get into it. God. Excited is an understatement for this game. I dug my controller back out. Let's see. Hang on. There we go dug my controller back out for this game because FromSoft, while while good while, while a, a, a good game developer FromSoft is not the best when it comes to porting over controls because tarnished wizened, wizened finger though the path be broken and uncertain Claim your place as Elden Lord. Okay. Always hit the walls. There's always hidden stuff in the walls. Visions of Elden Ring. So. They're not the best at porting controls. Because even still, if I were to play this on a mouse and keyboard, it would still say, press Y to touch Bloodstain. Chapel of Anticipation. Always explore, break everything, there's hidden stuff everywhere. And then probably someone telling you you should jump off. Be wary of liar, yeah, no. They'll have hidden, don't get me wrong, they will have hidden, um... They will have hidden, uh, tree head. Tree. They will have, um, 
hidden things that you have to do a leap of faith off of, but they're not going to have it that early in the game. Praise the Elden Ring. Uh, I've been looking forward to this game. It's been a hot minute since I've played a, a FromSoft game, and I've very much even thought about... Yeah, no, there's nothing other. Um, I very much thought about playing Dark Souls 3 on this, just because I love the Dark Souls series. I love FromSoft as a game developer. Um... And, and I thought about bringing that in as content to bring to you all, but Elden Ring made it very... justifiable, because, you know, it's new, it's hype, it's it's very... If only I had a friend. <laughs> uh, well done. How the heck do you even get up there? Um... And so it's also something I've, uh, as soon as I saw this come out, I was very excited for this. So I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's any treasure about. Like I said, this probably won't be a long episode. This is just kind of an introduction to see what all, there's a boss fight here. Time for death. What that did, but I was not happy with that result. I don't have any healing items. I'm supposed to die to this thing. Ah, uh, there it goes. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order. Flask of Crimson Tears. I bet you that that Flask of Cerulean Tears. Okay, so I bet the Crimson Tears and the Cerulean Tears are my health and magic regain. Uh, defeat ahead. Behold Elden Ring. Let there be revenge. The Cave of Knowledge lies below.
grey tarnished. Take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. So they're telling us to go down. So we're going to go up. Behold tree. Could this be a unfathomable sort? Except didn't expect tranquility. Someone tells me that's part of like the branch that goes to... First off, don't give up. Uh, th that's like part of a branch or part of something to the big golden tree that we've seen before. So he's, he's encouraging us to go down, which makes me believe that there's something up here to go up in. Touch grace. Lost grace discovered. Rest at sight of grace. Okay, so these sights of grace are going to be akin to the bonfires as of what we're used to. This is our hub world, so that just because there's fog there doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be a boss. That's just part of the hub world that we haven't unlocked yet. Cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled fingers to write a golden summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, a furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. Uh, the compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host of fingers. Okay. So, if they do this in the same way that they did... Wait, didn't it? Wait. Wait. Used to break one imp statue seal. I'm not gonna go down there yet. I'm glad I opened that. But I'm not gonna go down there yet because that seems very desolate. What the world is that guy wearing? So we just wanna kinda explore, kinda see what all what all's going on. Betrayal ahead. See, everybody always wants to try and hit it with their sword. But if you roll into rolling into it, uh, rolling into things is also considered combat. So if you roll into a hidden door, that'll also open it up. However, I very highly doubt there's going to be one here. As of right now, they really want us to go forward. Something incredible ahead. Yeah, that's a load of rock. Uh, they really want us to trudge forward. And now that I've trudged all the way over there, and I know that that's the, can I pick up that sword? descend um now that I've seen all that's up there now I can go through here but the multiplayer okay this is a very good close up of my face and probably a good way to death however I have nothing to lose let's see what we can do Okay, I got poison damage, but we're over here now. Okay! What in the world? How do I run? Okay, not by doing that. We're not gonna go that way. I think that's later. So, we didn't lose anything. We didn't kill anything to get any kind of... Um, I think the, I think the, the currency is runes. In Dark Souls, it was souls. and Death. Upon dying, you will be revived to the last side of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. However... 
we didn't have any runes. I'm not going to go get runes. I don't think we had any runes in order to get. And if anything, we'll get them back later. Um, if there's one thing that this game teaches you, it's don't worry about lost, lost runes, lost souls, lost currency, whatever it may be. So we're going to go ahead and hop down here and see what all we can do. X is use item, down is to switch item. So health, mana, health, okay. Let's stretch forward and see what Mr. Rise can be a hold. Sites of Grace, we already understand what those are because we just rested up one that we weren't supposed to be going to. So now that kind of kindles the bonfire to use Dark Souls. I'm gonna use Dark Souls terminology just to, to kind of translate over to myself. Um, the understanding of what all needs to happen. Friend or foe? Friend or foe? Friend foe. Foe! Sorceries and incantations. Okay, so up goes the sorcery. Uh, okay, that uh, guarding left bumper is guard. Can I guard with this stick? I don't think so. And sword. Oh wow, that was actually really good. Um, dodging. Back step and dodge roll. Okay, okay. I have a wooden block in my arm. Okay. Ah, yes. Ju Who are you? Don't you? No. Stop it. I have sorceries. Die. Can I have your armor? I have a metal gimp mask, and I don't like it. Hello, sir. Have you heard the news of my good and savior, Lord and Savior? Flying sword? Come on, come on, come on. Hit me, hit me, I want you to do it. I want you to hit me. Come on, hit me. Backstab! <laughs> that works too. That's a candle. That's not a great sight. Very excited still to see see this game. Um, and that was just to help me change the targets. But I don't need to because I just killed the other one first. What's behind here? Is there something? A waste of time. Could this be an item? Blood message. I love I love the creativity of of the 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 FromSoft fan base and their ability to use these limited messages to just be creative, clever, and just have fun with it. It's great. Let's see what all do you have here for me? Skills. Uh, armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. Ah, okay, so it's like that kind of thrust. Crouch can make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you yet will cause uh, more damage than usual. It's interesting that they have a sneak mechanic in this game. Try fingers but hole. Fingers but hole! So, uh, you saw me do it for a critical hit on that one guy, where I kind of snuck up behind him and did the critical hit. I, for some reason, I think I was a little too far away to trigger it on that one. Likely plump sort. Strong foe ahead. Something that tells me that plump foe is going to be a, um, like a big enemy, like a fat enemy. Hold for a charge attack, uh, while jumping for a jump attack.
as a statue. Stakes of America. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of America near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Interdasting. Try guard counter. Boss ahead. That is... Uh, parrying and things like that is definitely something Soldier of Godric. Oh, no. Oh, you do not look friendly. Um, excuse me. What? Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, did a lot of good damage, so I'm probably going to focus more on physical damage to try and get this guy. Um, and I also kept spamming A instead of B, so I was spamming jump instead of dodge, which is also why that first hit really hit the way it did. So, let's try this again. Okay. But that's one thing I really want to learn how to do in this game is, um, parry. I was never really good at parrying. Okay, now I need to be smart and do one thing first. Let's get those. Thank you. You suck. Man, if I only done one jump. Thank you. Very much. Good sir. Good sir. Good, good sir. You have been felled. Sire. You suck. Get scrubbed. Get scrubbed. I'm Rip Lord. Alright. Joy. Unspeakable. And full of glory. Wait. Okay. What is that up here? Loot remains. Strength! I got an emote. I think that's the only thing that's up here. And this is back where I started in the first place. Do you have anything else to say to me, silent old man? Brave tarnished. Take the plunge. Nope, that's all you're gonna say. Okay, that's fine. So now what? I've already been up here. There's poison in that weird chariot thing. Which is evilly reminiscent of Dark Souls 2. Um, but now... Oh, wait, no. Wait, there's that area up there. Maybe I found something. Uh, let's see. Memorize spell? With the memorize spell menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations requires FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase the memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. Into dasting. Okay, okay. So, so right now we're just going to do that. Um, there was a lever over here. That I can't seem to pull. Ah! There's a button in the center! <laughs> I'm very excited for this game. Liar ahead. It's not a very good sign if I say so myself. Uh, I don't appreciate the fact he says liar ahead. Makes me want to stab someone. Why is there a blood stain here? How did someone die? Okay. So that means there's gonna be combat ahead. Ah, uh, yes. We seem to be here in the open world. Look at it. It's all so beautiful. So that's a giant bird? Bird. Bird! This is so cool. 
And sadly, this is probably where I'm going to go ahead and have to cut this episode. Because I can't tell you how excited I am to go ahead and play this game. However, uh, I got to save some stuff. So, oh, they're good. Perfect timing. Perfect place for a sight of grace. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have to cut the episode here, folks. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. The golden rays will guide you along your way. Now, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Uh, if you want to see more of this, I have it ready. Uh, I'm going to be streaming on my Twitch channel. Link in the description below. I'll be streaming on the 12th. That's this upcoming Saturday uh, upon the relation of the posting of this video. Uh, I'll be streaming from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed making it. Keep taking a look. I'm still trying out new things, and I'm very excited to see where they're coming and where I'm going to be able to bring these to you. Uh, keep an eye out. Thank you so much. Uh, come see me again next time. Just make sure you go the way the crow flies.